one thing that I think is super important uh, to keep your mental health here in Spain or wherever you're going is uh, with the culture shock, it's really important to every now and then just take a day to just do you. Um, whether it's going hiking for the day and not talking to anyone else or just um, chilling in your room and watching videos or whatever you do to make yourself happy. Um, because there's so much different here and it's really nice to every now and then just be like, okay, I'm gonna ignore the culture, I'm gonna ignore everything and just have a day to myself. Um, that way you can like refresh and then tomorrow get back into the Spanish culture and uh, get back into everything else. And, but I just think that's super important. I take six classes and I have three of them which are taught in Spanish, one that is in English, and two Arabic classes which are taught in Spanish. And I also volunteer in the local schools six hours a week. So I don't have a lot of like, free time, I guess. But I guess the best way for me to relax and feel normal and not so stressed is when I go and do intercambios. An intercambio is when you meet up with people who are fluent in the language and you spend half of the time talking in their language and the other half talking in yours. So what I do is I meet up with people from my classes who are like native Spanish speakers and we'll go out and we'll walk in the park or we'll go grab dinner or grab a tapa and we'll spend 30 minutes speaking in Spanish and then the other 30 minutes speaking in English. Although while studying abroad you're doing a lot of things like sightseeing and always studying for classes, it's actually really easy to stay physically fit. I know for me personally, I'm not a person that goes to the gym a lot, but I find a lot of ways to get my physical activity in for the day. Um, probably the most common way is that I walk everywhere here. Um, the city is very accessible. Like, it's really easy to walk everywhere. That You don't need to use public transportation because everything's within walking distance, but it's also there's a lot of uphill areas and things like that that give you a good workout. And, um, you know, I also do certain activities to make, make myself go out of my house and get in that active physical activity. Like, I try to go on weekend hikes. I know here in Granada, I've done a couple things just going, you know, we have beautiful hiking trails all around. Spend my afternoon hiking through. And it's a great way to get your exercise while also sightseeing. Um, I've also done flamenco dancing, which is a good way to exercise and, you know, have fun and learn something about the culture. And overall, it's just, it's, you just do a lot more walking, even while you're traveling abroad. You know, you walk from, you know, the Eiffel Tower to the Louvre or something like that, and it's, you get all that walking in, and you're not even realizing it because you're so caught up in the, the magic of the city and things like that. So overall, it's really easy to stay healthy while being busy here. Look, I do recommend that you sleep very well here because I'm naturally a terrible sleeper back at home, and when I first got here, you know, the jet lag hit and I slept probably longer than I should have that first night. But um, I do recommend getting a good night's sleep because it sets you up for um, assimilating to the different time schedules and the different hours of the day, especially with eating and waking up classes might be different.